The national COVID-19 vaccination campaign continued Thursday, 11th March, with hundreds of St. Lucians visiting the Entrepo Human Resource Center, Miko Multipurpose Center, and the Darren Sami Cricket Stadium for inoculation. At Wednesday, 10th March, 12,624 St. Lucians had received their first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Health teams are continuing home visits to vaccinate the elderly and individuals who are unable to get to vaccination sites. Also on Wednesday, the ministry reported a reduction in active COVID-19 cases. The number stood at 219, the lowest number since cases spiraled after the holiday season. Vaccination continues Friday, 12 March at the Canaries Wellness Center, Viewfort Independence Square, VG Sports Complex, Babano Multipurpose Center and Sufre Hospital grounds. Meantime, in a sobering first-person account of the COVID-19 illness, one survivor sings the praises of healthcare workers at the respiratory hospital for not only risking their lives but diligently carrying out their duty to save lives. Details in this report. The island's respiratory hospital has received an encouraging report from a recovered COVID-19 patient after a week-long stay at the facility. In early February, businessman Fadi Leon tested positive for the virus. While awaiting confirmation, his health was deteriorating and he had to be admitted to the hospital. In an interview on NTN, Leon confessed that he initially had misgivings about the care he would receive. The stories I heard about VH and the amount of um, circulated videos about the poor, poor service and the poor quality uh, of, of, of the service models or the environment or the establishment, I was really afraid. But the first day, honest to God, you know, the first day I entered the, the center, I was like, wow, this is a masterpiece. Because you're in a room by yourself. Nonetheless, you know, every two hours, there's somebody checking on you. Your food comes on time as well. You have your breakfast, you have your full protein, your tea, whatever it is, your lunch, your dinner on time, your medication. I was also on drips. I don't know how they call, what they call the science world to eat in the, the, the drips. And they make, you see, because you know, we have a, a, a glass partition, so they're always observing you like, you know, more or less like what they're passing by. So soon as they realize what they call the drips, you know, it's going right. down or about to go down, a new one comes in right away until like, you, know, you get to a point like, um, I don't need it anymore. Because remember, you know, I lost my taste, you know, I lost my smell, mm -hmm. and I lost appetite as well, so I wasn't eating pussy. So the only uh, uh, nutritious, you know, or nutrition that comes in, you know, through the, the drip. Mm -hmm. Yes, wow. indeed. Leon says he never felt overlooked as the medical staff constantly checked his status. I mean, the, the, the service is amazing, the nurses are amazing. As I said, like, you know, in a previous talk show, you know, I don't call them nurses and doctors, I call them honeybees because they're around the clock working. You know, the local nurses and the foreigner or the Cuban nurses, more or less, if you want to call them. Mm -hmm. And the doctors is amazing, all of them, all of them. I, I couldn't actually uh, recognize them because you know, of the gaze they have, yeah. right? But they were just on point. They come there, they ask you, you know, hey, you know, how's your breathing? Anything troubling you? Anything helping you? Anything so and so and so? So it's more or less like every two hours, you know, they were checking, checking on me. It's not only checking on me as well, you know, checking on everybody because the room is like, you know, n numbered. Yeah. Like number one, number two, number three, right, whatever, whatever it is. So they go in sequence. So you never felt neglected? No, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. As a matter of fact, you know, um, anytime like, you know, you just like, you know, about to fall asleep, they will just come in to make sure like, you know, you have your blood pressure under control and stuff. Um, I was always getting like, you know, some medication on a, on, a, on a regular basis, you know. Leon recovered within a week at the hospital after the close encounter with death. He and hundreds of others in St. Lucia who contracted COVID-19 have been nursed back to health at the facility. Leon says he would not wish the viral illness on his worst enemy and encourages the public to consider taking the vaccine. To, 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 to get my vaccine actually, you know, prior to my, to my, to my, to my uh, illness, but because of my immune system, you know, being jeopardized, you know, and you could say like, you know, right now my immune system under construction, Right. The doctor advised me, like, I can't take it right now, right away, because I need a little period of time for my immune system to recover. Nonetheless, have not been sick, I'll be taking it right away. I'll be one of the first to take it right away. So I advise everybody, everybody just to take it. There's nothing fear about it. Don't be scared to take it, because at the end of the day, you know, my dear, you know, 
COVID-19 is not a joke. Believe in me, it is not a joke. This virus, you know, have one initiative and one mission is to kill you. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.